Kevin Durant had a pretty impressive Phoenix Suns debut where they went on to win by 14 points against the Charlotte Hornets. KD finishing with 23 points in 27 minutes and was very efficient shooting 67% from the field, 10 of 15. Finished with six rebounds as well, two assists and two blocks. And here's what he had to say about his debut with the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. You know, I missed playing and it's the highest level of ball in the world. So, you know, I missed being out, being out on the floor and going over strategy and, you know, just talking with the guys, the camaraderie, all that stuff. I missed it all. So I'm good. I'm glad I got to get back on the floor today and try to build towards something. How would you assess your I was solid. I felt like I should have made about four more shots. Um, I felt like I turned the ball over a couple times off the trap. When I, you know, it was just getting getting used to that again. And I lost the ball off the handle going to my left, so I got to get that stronger too. So just looking at the stuff I didn't do well and seeing how I can turn that into a strength next game. Does it feel different at all in any way than, than any other game? No, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, there's a lot of moving fact parts around this, but at the end of the day, it's still basketball. So, you know, we try to just focus on that. Kev, hey, what's your general thoughts on, you know, when your teammates get out there and, and playing with those guys, and how, how do you feel like you fit in? I feel like I fit in pretty well. Um, everybody, everybody out there was trying to make me as comfortable as possible, coaches and players as well. And, you know, so. Um, just got to keep keep grinding, man. And you know, this this jersey on me will look normal in a couple. You know, as games go on, as we start to keep building who we are as a team, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it, though. Sorry, did you feel like on your end it was a pretty clean game on your part in terms of where to go, what to do? Now? Yeah, yeah. I didn't think I was. Uh, I thought I'd be lost on a few plays, a few sets on the defensive side of the ball. But I felt like uh, these last what two weeks, a week and a half of practice, and. Being around the guys is constant communication. CP, campaign as the point guard, they're doing a good job of letting me know where I need to be on a couple sets I may not know, might, may not be familiar with. Uh, but defensively, I thought I was uh, in solid position all night. Conditioning-wise, are you 100% just after the long layoff? Uh, yeah, yeah, I feel solid. Uh, like, it's just about conditioning and getting in game shape. And I think each, each game I play, the more and more minutes I play, I'll get there. Yeah, I mean, I've been in the league for so long. I play with all types of units, all types of players, and uh, you know, so I just gotta still be me, no matter who's on the floor. And coach drove some good plays, and guys were playing hard on the defensive side. So you know, um, things were working for us in the, when I was out there with those guys. Oh, I've been hurt. <laughs> Damn, I've been hurt. Um, yeah, I mean, just being comfortable with the game, being around the game for so long. Like you said, I had plenty of injuries before. So, um, you know, I figured, you know, what's best for me throughout rehab and as I'm ramping back up to get back into the game, I kind of understand what I need to do to be the best version of me. And then just go out there with a free and clear mind and just, just play, not worry about, um, you know, in this case, my knee and, and – Try not to think about it, and you know the game just uh, you know told me what to do out there tonight. At what point in the game were you feeling? Um, after my second shot, I think my first shot, I could have. Uh, I, I think I just shot that just to shoot it, to be honest, you know, because I haven't shot in a while. So I, I, after I shot, I was like, I could have took another dribble and used a little bit more power. So after that, I got a layup and book hit me for a three, and I think that's when I was comfortable. Yeah, I think you said after the game to uh, broadcast you that you don't usually get. Yeah, new environment, new situation, new teammates. I want to. I mean, I always feel like I got to prove myself to my teammates and my coaches every day, no matter what I've done in the league. So, like, it's. I feel like it's pressure on me to be who I am every day, uh, and I put that on me internally, you know. So uh, sometimes I, it's a, it's a balance though, because I might go too, you know, think too much about a situation and you know throw myself off. So I feel like it's all healthy though, man. I I, I got good intentions and I want to do well out there, and you know, so I'm just trying to get comfortable. Yeah. I yeah. When he when coach put me on that third, I felt like I was in the solid. Oh, the start of uh, that fourth, I felt like I was in solid groove. I had made a couple shots and I felt good. And 
I didn't think I would play that much, to be honest. I thought I was going to be hovering around 19 or 20 a game. But, you know, Coach is a player. He's been there before, so he understands. And, you know, I, I needed a couple extra minutes to get some rhythm, and he, he gave me that. So I'm grateful for it. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I feel like the last almost seven, eight years in the league, all these training staffs have been doing a good job of, you know, when guys get hurt, uh, they ramp up process, not just throwing them back into the action, figuring out a plan for them to get back on the court and be at that level again. I think it's helped, you know. So each franchise that I've been with have been doing that, and I think it's key for guys going forward who are coming off of injuries. I feel limited, but I feel like I could have explored a little bit more. You know, I shot a pull up three over Hayward. I probably should have drove that one and see where I can, you know, see what I can do from that. So it's just about trying some stuff. I didn't feel like I was limited in anything, though. What was it like seeing, seeing Devin and DeAndre being aggressive early? I mean, that's what we need. They've been playing that same way all year. I feel like those two guys stepped it up this year as far as scoring the basketball for this team. And DA with what, 16 rebounds, four assists, like. You know, and he, the shots he was making tonight too, like the fadeaways from the mid range, like it's impressive. And you know, we know what Book does. He's solidified himself over the last, you know, five six years. So um, he's one of those guys that we count on to make plays like this. And Da, we count on him to do this every night. And you know, we're gonna need this going forward if we want to be the team we want to be. What has the integration process been like for you defensively? For me? So obviously, a lot of switching between Phoenix and Brooklyn. Yeah. Any other Oh uh, yeah, just different terminology. Um, you know, like you said, we switched a lot the last three years, and you know, and playing a pick and roll coverage is something that I didn't do much of the last three years. But I got, uh, you know, playing in different organization. I didn't played all types of defenses, so it's just a matter of us all standing on the same page, communicating every time down. And you know, if we need to switch, we're gonna switch. If we need to stay in our pick and roll coverage, we're gonna do that. But it's about being on the same page.